and satire pieces. We're going to go to break, come back, go to your calls, get into the polio news, which is really big, and major censorship news. But I'm going to jam in calls from Brian and then uh, Chris, Paul, J.D., Simon, and others. And that'll be all the calls for today we have time for because we have the makers of Conrad the Constitution, starring Alex Jones, Ron Paul, and the Constitution, uh, joining us, Secret Service has contacted them. The offending video, better see it before they take it down, folks, is up on Infowars.com right now. We're going to be breaking that down. But uh, let's go ahead and get into these articles of censorship first. We've got to break and come back with your calls. This is out of Newsbusters, New York Times cartoon. You can go to their site and see it. Climate change deniers should be stabbed to death. Editorial cartoons often uh, are... Uh, Petty, uh, or, or, or try to paraphrase to Steve Martin's observation at the perils of comedy. But one found in the opinion section of the New York Times is downright ugly. The cartoon, which we want to go to and then link to uh, there on screen, if we can do that, folks. I want to show people the cartoon. Again, the headline is New York Times cartoon suggests climate change deniers should be stabbed to death. You click there, you can see the cartoon. Alluding to this year's brutal winter, suggests U.S. Department of Commerce strategies for dealing with 2014 uh Icicle surplus, among them are using icicles as locally sourced hydration devices, uh, temporary doorstops, and brain teasers for dogs. Then comes a suggestion of one immediately looks at it again in disgusting disbelief. Icicles can be used as self-destructing sabers for dispatching climate change deniers. So there you go. You need to kill people uh, that... Uh, Look, the guy that's a climate change denier is a white male with a cigar. Classic communist propaganda. Why not put a top hat on him? Because it is about wealth redistribution with a carbon tax on everything that will actually hurt the poor the worst. So just classic communist crap out of the robber baron run New York Times. And here's another one. Uh, this is out of Fox News. Heating up. Climate change advocates try to silence Krauthammer. That's right. They've called in a petition for him to be fired. For saying, I'm not a global warming believer, I'm not a global warming denier, I'm allowed to question it. Oh no, you're not allowed to question. It's like the mayor or the, the governor of New York says, if you're pro-life or pro-gun, get out of the state. These people aren't tolerant. Believe what they believe or hit the road. Take the FCC in your newsroom. Let them tell you what to do. So that's in the uh, censorship file today. I'm Alex Jones with Infowars.com. We are the real media. Uncover a simple privacy loophole that can stop the NSA spying thugs in their tracks at privacylockdown.com. The NSA has already shut down hundreds of sites, and the truth be told, they could shut down this operation at any time. See, the privacy loophole I'm about to show you allows you to make all your sensitive information disappear in the next 30 days or less. Go to privacylockdown.com now to take your life off the grid and see the loophole in the NSA and FBI spying machine before they close the loophole forever. Go to privacylockdown.com. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions. SilverLungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at SilverLungs.com. That's SilverLungs.com. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. 
time and time again. You need to come here and help us. We need assistance. Please. Those we should be able to depend on let us down. Federal and state and local officials saying help is on the way. Well, the folks here in Bell Harbor say show me. Don't depend on the government to save you. Take action now so that you're prepared for the next disaster with MyPatriotSupply.com. Get the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more at MyPatriotSupply.com. Call 866-229-0927. We are hurting down here, and we need help immediately. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotSupply.com. MyPatriotSupply.com Ladies and gentlemen, America is more dangerous than ever with 9 million property crimes last year. Crimes are happening every day. Be proactive and protect your home and family. Simply Safe Home Security System helps guard against criminals, thugs, and thieves. Listen, Simply Safe is the absolute best alarm system and company in America today. Here's why. We offer a 60-day money-back guarantee. It's affordable, no contracts to sign, and is built with the latest wireless technology. Simply Safe protects the ones you love the most, even if a criminal cuts your power and phone lines. When you order Simply Safe today, you'll receive a 10% discount along with a free keychain remote. Don't wait. This offer is only valid through February 28th. Take advantage of this special discount offer at GetSimplySafe.com. That's GetSimplySafe.com. Protect your home and family now at GetSimplySafe.com. Federal agents, we are armed! Think of what a joke it is, how the government ships in the drugs, the big banks on record, no one debates it. And if they catch your high school student with any drugs, they'll throw them in jail, or they get abused by a bunch of hardened criminals and get made to join a gang, so they can then be pushers for the big banks. They can break in your house and rob you to buy more of the overpriced products because of the black market. That's how the New World Order rolls. Brian, what do you make of the mainstream dinosaur whore media, prostitute media, and free fall at every level? The nice cherry on top being loving Piers Morgan. Well, Alex, I got to say that finding out that Piers Morgan is not going to be on TV anymore is like finding $50 in a coat you haven't worn in a year. That's a great uh, way to put it. it. It is. I think it's better than that. It's like finding a hundred dollars. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's all Federal Reserve notes anyway, so it's not worth that much. But um, really, I think that the biggest thing, aside from them discrediting themselves, is the apathy in this country. You know, uh, you watch those Mark Dice Man on the Street videos and just see, you know, people are they're completely disengaged. Well, that is California, and that's the future man. Someone who can hardly talk, and if you say, for Obama, we're going to kill all conservatives, and they go, oh, yes, and he goes, we're going to kill them now, and they go, I want to kill them, and they're ready. They're ready to literally put us in forced labor camps, and then they'll waddle around in black uniforms above us. Yeah, you know, well, not me, because I'll, I ain't going to. Well, fighting camp. against a liberal trendy when you're in a death camp and they're raping your wife is treason. That's fine. I'm a traitor. You need to bow to people that can't even talk, who watch Rachel Maddow and she tells them how smart they are over and over again. Great point, Brian. Anything else? No, that's pretty much it. You know, I just want to say ditto. You know, I don't want to take up all your time. So thank well, you're awesome, Brian. Good to hear from you. Let's talk to another evil person, Chris in Kentucky. He's probably white, too, folks. The question is, are you racist? And the answer is, are you white? Did you wake up this morning? Yes. Chris, do you want to apologize? Are you white? Oh, yes, I am a white. I tell you, I must be a terrorist. I'm, I'm everything. I knew you it. Know. Go ahead, racist. <laughs> okay. Um, anyway, about the mainstream media, this is a hopefully people, more and more people, I think, are starting to wake up. They know they're in trouble. Bottom line is uh, mainstream media has gotten nothing to be entertainment. you got your info babes doing this, who's cooking shows on the weekend. I mean, that's not news anymore. People are figuring it out. It's time. I talk to people in generally out here saying they're sick of mainstream news because the reality they're beginning to see, and a lot of people are waking up. I mean, that we're scaring them out of here. We're getting them out of here.
it's time. That's right. And, and then they all still pose on their big sets like everyone's watching them. It's all a facade that they have the moral authority, that they're the boss. And, and then the White House run Media Matters with no viewers or readers is always lecturing media who to have on and who not. We're the boss. We're the authoritarian left. You're not going to do what we say and watch us? Look at, look at Mr. Maddow. Isn't he handsome? Exactly. And, you know, in our local media, all they talk about is uh, murders and uh, uh, arrests on people. I mean, that's not news anymore. I mean, let's, let's get real, folks. Yeah, they should be talking about fluoride in your water and government corruption and or how the sheriff stood up for the Second Amendment. Good to hear from you, Chris. Let's talk to Paul in the U.K. That's the United Kingdom. What do you think of Lord Morgan? Uh, I think he's a bit of a nitwit, to be honest with you, uh, coming from a country that is a... Uh, very disarmed and basically uh, I fire arms trained myself I used to be a Navy cadet and uh, and I know how to use firearms and and I would and I know ex police that they say that gun control does not work now and basically it's gone up 200% gun crime and there's roughly 2,034 crimes per 100,000 in the UK uh, consecutively where there's 466 uh, crimes per 100,000 and this is this is in America where they still stay true to the principles of liberty and freedom that we've lost in these aisles and by the way I was about to say you guys had a low crime rate because you were a genteel law-abiding society uh, like Switzerland they took the guns and your crime I was reading one up tenfold in most areas, the muggings, the stabbings, and the people aren't allowed to defend themselves. Yeah, but basically on this, um, on this issue, I was, uh, I, I, I was, there are organizations in the UK that want to keep, uh, that want to restore the way to keep and bear arms in, in this country as a whole, but since Switzerland adopted our model in the 1500s, which is 500 years, they've never been invaded in 500 years. Dictators and other people would never even mutter the S word in their battle plans anyway. Well said, sir. God bless you and thank you for calling. Yeah, they always make it an anti-British thing or anti-UK thing, this whole gun debate. The Magna Carta and, and, and then later other acts, the right for the citizens to have weapons, came out of England and became the model for the Dutch and then the folks in Switzerland. That's actually true. And the people that were fighting for liberty here had big support in England in 1776. We'll be right back. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee 
gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding?